doing man. Schwartz. <laughs> I am Ed Schwartz and um, I, uh, I aspire to be a musician, hopefully professional, but probably like everyone else I'll be playing in bars, getting paid absolutely nothing to do something I love, instead of getting paid a lot to do something I hate. So um, I went to a centrifuge in Tennessee with my uh, youth group, it's a youth camp, and uh, they had a class. Um, and about you know how to play guitar and you fill out the paperwork and turn it in and only a few people got to get in and I got in and learned how to play and by the end of the week I could play Barney and Amazing Grace and probably a few other songs. A wipeout. I learned how to play a wipeout too. And I as soon as I got home I was all psyched and you know great but I didn't have a guitar. So uh, I was snooping you know through my dad's closet one day and I found a guitar and so I took it, started playing and um, he found out I had it and you know, asked me, and so I kind of asked him, hey, can, I, can I borrow it? And so he let me borrow it, and um, I still have it in my room. <laughs> and um, since then I, you know, play guitar, you know, taught myself everything. I had friends that helped me along in books they gave me, or books I found, and, you know, watch TV a lot, you know, watch what they're playing, and learn by ear, and, you know, that's about it. influences because uh, I don't want to be you know a rock band or a pop band or a jazz band I want to be you know a, a map band and play what I want to play which I might have one song that's a uh, you know polka if I wanted to and maybe a next song country or rock and roll or grunge punk whatever I want to do and uh, I've had a lot of bands that influenced me you know the Beatles influenced me a lot because you know they pretty much did what I'm talking about, you know, they did different kinds of things. And then um, I've always, I loved Nirvana when I was a kid, and recently I've heard of Scorn as a person like them. But uh, recently I quit listening to any music except for Christian music because God has been leading me to do that. And um, since then I found, you know, bands like Starflyer 59, and they're very influential on me and my music yeah, because they bred from their heart. And uh, Poor Lou is another one of my good bands because, uh, they, uh, they, they experiment a lot and at the same time use their abilities and their talent for the right reasons. So. Uh, my, I've got a mom and a dad and uh, two brothers and a sister. And um, 
my brothers used to pick on me all the time, and my sister loves me, so uh, that's good. My parents, uh, my mom used to always play piano in the house, and my dad used to sing along with her, and I thought it was the corniest thing in the world. My mom also, she cleaned the kitchen, she started singing real loud and trying to embarrass me in front of nobody, but you know, especially in the car, she used to dance a lot, you know, and, and especially when she took me to school, she put on like Michael Bolton, turn it up real loud, and, woo and I didn't like that at all, so, um, but my dad, uh, you know, he's a minister of music at a church, a few churches, you know, and <laughs> since I've been born, but, um, and, uh, They've influenced me a little bit on music. Like my mom got me started on piano lessons when I was little, and my uh, my dad, you know, had me sing solos in church and stuff. And um, I, but they never really liked my music that I write, they, unless it was like piano concertos or something I make up. But uh, they always thought it was kind of, I guess, barbaric and immature and I thought I'd grow out of it and then once I told them that that's what I want to do for my life they thought I was kidding but when I found out I was really serious about it they really helped me out and you know even though they didn't really care for it and didn't you know agree with me they helped me out to find schools and, and stuff so I appreciate it. merchandise company and I go around and around and just, you know, work in grocery stores and pet smarts and Walmarts and stuff for, stuff like that, Kmart, and just do resets. And um, in my free time, I tried many of times to just do bands. I've had about three or four of them, you know, since I've, you know, been alive. But right now, I, I found a really good friend of mine, uh, I guess I could say my best friend, and we just play guitar with each other a lot. And, um, we decided that, you know, that's what we want to do, you know, for a living. So uh, we're trying to get some songs together. And our goal right now is, uh, well, it, you know, right right now is we, we're we supposed to play it at, you know, some guy's house on Tuesday. But uh, in the immediate future, uh, or in the, I guess, the following future, whatever you call it. I'm not very good on words, but uh, <laughs> we're supposed to, uh, we're getting ready to do a concert in January. Just us on maybe electrics, but mostly acoustics. And um, uh, I work at uh, Real to Real Studios. And if you're not familiar with what that is, uh, Collective Soul, that's where they recorded their first album and where they still do some of their work for their other albums. And I work with uh, the bass player's father. He owns the place. And uh, I just help produce and record and you know help out the bands there. And, um, I just got out of high school. I was in the marching band while I was in that. And been it for four years, but I got kicked out the last set. Well, not really kicked out. I had to graduate, you know, and I had to take health and stuff. But he wanted to kick me out, so he was kind of happy when I couldn't stay the second semester. But I was kind of upset because I loved playing classical music. It's a big part of me, but um, I hope I'm not being boring. When I write a song, I sometimes I have an emotion I want to get by or something that's going on in my life like, you know, uh, say a family member dies, you know, I'll be really upset. I want to maybe say, give them up. Instead of just saying, hey, you know, I really miss you, you know, write something like, you know. You know, and just say like, you know, just made up <laughs> but um and then other times I just play around with my guitar and just make up something that I think sounds really cool and uh just you know I'll have it maybe for you know a year or so or even 
you know, five years. And if it's good enough, I'll still remember it. And um, I, you know, I'll be looking for something in a song or, you know, or I'll go back to it and play it and I'll find something else to put to it. But after a while, I'll have a song. And I've got pl plenty of those that I have no words to. And those are a lot harder for me to work with because I can't ever figure out what I want to say in it. You know, because it didn't really mean much to me when I wrote it, except for the fact that, wow, that sounds awesome. <laughs> so I look for something that's going on in my life at that point that that uh, will help me write words. And when I write them, somehow they just seem to always come together. And it works out. And so that's how I write a song. It doesn't always have to be on guitar, though. I mean, I've got songs I write on piano, and I've got a few that I, I've written on trumpet and transposed, or bass. I write, play bass guitar every once in a while and write some stuff on there. But uh, it's just always either something I want to get, a point I want to get across, a feeling I want to get across, or I just want to write a song and I just play around with stuff. But um, it's no, never, I don't want it ever to be because I have to write a song. I want it to be because it's part of me and what I love doing. I remember, uh, I do have something that, that has one word by a musician, or some words by a musician that's really influenced me. I don't remember who the musician was, but I was just reading, um, I guess in his thank you notes in his uh, album, and I, I don't know who it was, but uh, it said that uh, music is nothing without the Lord and without his wisdom. That. Uh, he gives everyone a talent, you know. There's some great bands out there that have great music. I don't agree with all the words, but until he's involved in the music, it can't be perfect. It can't be great. It can't be all that you wished it would be. And um, I believe that's the same with everything, with life, with friendships, with family, with love, with any goal, career, anything you want to accomplish. I think without God involved in it, it can't be right. And I've learned that through this musical, you know, life I've been through because the first band I was in, I, you know, was caught on, you know, I want to be like Kurt Cobain and I want to be a rock star and I want to smash my guitar at the end of the, the, you know, show and I've, I still want to do that. Now I want to do it for the right reason. I want to do it for the guy that gave me the talent instead of just doing it for myself because you know, if I did it for myself, I'd realize that I don't know anything and that I really suck at guitar, which I really do think I do, but I think I'm just a songwriter and that I, you know, the singing in the guitar part is just something that was handed to me to say, okay, are you going to need these tools? So that's the, those words from that guy, you know, that everything is God's and without it's nothing. Those really have helped me a lot. I don't know one person that doesn't listen to some certain type of music throughout the day. And um, for me, it's never one thing. It's like I said earlier, you know, it's uh, many different things. I might be in the classical music mood or might be in uh, you know, the metal mood or I might be in the you know funk mood or the disco mood, whatever. I mean, I just, you know, get moods, but uh, it Music helps you along with your the feelings you're going with or the you know what you're dealing with that day and my music that I write helps me out because it helps me express how I feel and helps me you know when I'm upset I sing a certain song that you know is talking about that emotion or you know if I'm upset I might sing something happy you know but uh music to me is very important I think it is to everybody. I always wanted to be a rock star, but <laughs> I don't know, you know, if that's what God has planned for me or if that's what I'm meant to be or not, but I'm always going to strive to you know, at least make an album and maybe, you know, play in clubs and stuff and, you know, have fun with it. But um, my plan so far, I'm going to go to um, Georgia State and learn about, um, you know, right now just do English and stuff, and then I'm going to transfer up to Belmont. Um, University in Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, I'm going to major in uh, music business, which is uh, the business of music and how it works and, you know, how things, you know, go down.
and um, I um, also want to take some recording classes and uh, m maybe either minor in recording or music. I haven't really decided yet, but uh, the main goal is to um, be a producer and uh, produce other bands and hopefully have my own, you know, band and produce myself and manage myself and so forth and so on. Uh. <laughs> Where's the button?